All right, y'all. Welcome back. Um, I know I promised. Well, not, I didn't promise, but I know I said I would try to uh, record yesterday, day before. My life gets crazy sometimes. Sometimes I get lazy. It just—it's a myriad of reasons. But regardless, I am here now. So let us mosey on, shall we? So we gotta get to the guts. Um, that's our main objective. But we do have some other stuff to take care of as well. As soon as we have a visitor. We have a little visitor. It seems we do. Hello. Although I could have sworn I saved at the uh, entrance to the guts. Or the entrance to the, weave the weaver, you know. I don't know. Regardless. Many bodies are coming up with. No. Hello, Dr. Yu. Is there perhaps a body I can take from up here and Stay drop down there? Target, material and conclusive. Hmm. I mean, I was in that room, so hold on. Hello. In here. Yeah. I'll take this guy, because he's already mutilated. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry to mutilate your body like this, but I need you for science. I need you for the discovery of killing Typhon. Your body will serve well, trust me. Oh god. Come on. Don't get shy on me now. You are losing your mind. But it's okay, because I'm... I'm here to put you out of your misery, so. Come on, this way. Alright. Baby boy! Go, my friend! Kill! Maim! Kill! Own! You can do it! I believe in you! Yeah! Oh, it doesn't even matter that you're shocking me to death. You did exactly what you were supposed to do, and I love you for that. Okie dokie. Uh, let's get rid of all this crap in my inventory. It's all just taking up room. And that, and that, and that, that. Why do I have a pomegranate? And that. Okie dokie. It's a good thing I decided to recycle them. Uh, Corey, my friend. I love you. But you seem to cause. Oh, no. 
Did you break that? You broke that, didn't you? You son of a, you son of a gun. It's alright, we'll fix it when we come back around. Now, I could have sworn I did this already. Unless I saved... Beforehand? I don't know. Thank you. I feel much more alert, thank you very much. I feel awake and alive. Thanks to you, my friend. Yeah, I, okay. I could have sworn I did this already. But, uh... It's fine. Uh, let's see. It's gonna be something I can grab. Do I have telekinesis or something? I do not. Do I get any neuromods, perhaps? Oh, I do have neuromods, okay. Um. You know what? I might as well get... Oh no, I do have remote manipulation. Perp derp. Alright, well, where is it? There it is. What? Serious? <laughs> okay, I got a plan. I'm gonna, this is going to take me a while, but I'll be right back. Okay, it took a minute, but I got it. Sorry about that. Turret here, I got that, got that, and we got that. This would be great to break down. Excuse me. Uh, we got two of these. I think we can dismantle them to parts. Shotgun will save to recycle. Uh, same with the glue cannon. I think we can break that down for parts as well. Uh, oh, another shotgun. How about that? Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. How many parts do we have? I think we should be okay. Alright, if I don't get this on the first try, you know the deal. Okay? Although it seems pretty easy. There we go. Eradicator auditory version 0.7.6. And I'll 
Scanning target error. Insufficient Typhon material found. Standing down. Psychotronics. Prisoner. Oh, I'm done. You find anything good in that armory? Well, I was gonna give you the code, but I guess you don't need it. Still, I sure would appreciate being let out of here. M my name's Aaron. Aaron Ingram. Hmm. Man, that's a lot of bad stuff he did. I mean... I don't know. He should be punished for his crimes. But... I don't know if it's my place. Honestly, I don't know if it's necessary at this point. I figure I'll let him out and if he gets hit by hey. a Typhon... Whatever. What are you reading? My rap sheet, huh? Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine. Listen. I want to be honest. Some of it probably is true. I've done some wrong in my days. But this ain't right, you know? Come on, y'all got to let me out of here. Ah. <sighs> I never Fine. did anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. Now, the real criminals, they didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rubles. They got their claws sunk deep in the government. Got me shipped off to the gulag. That's how I ended up here, see? Uh-huh. You know, I used to be a reverend. Trained for it anyways. Until I got locked up. Behold, the wicked man conceives evil. Is pregnant with mischief and gives birth to lies. Does that sound like anybody you know? I see. Most of the other fellows were Russian. I speak a little, but as you can tell, I ain't from there. As you might have guessed, I know my life ain't worth two dead crickets, but nobody deserves this. All right, all right, you made your point. All you gotta do is open. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. Now you're the one person that showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. Let's hope not, because if you betray me, I'll kill you. Or the Typhon will. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave him to his own devices. I mean, if the Typhon get him, whatever. If not, then he survived, so. Oh, hello, Mimix. Hello, Mimix. Yeah, I see y'all. You bunch of tards. All right. I'll get to them in due time. In due time. And this door is locked for some... Oh, lockdown is in effect. That's right, that's right, that's right. I wonder where my mimic is. I'm not mimic. My phantom. Phantom! Where are you? Oh, he's in there still. He's still in there causing all kinds of havoc. Would you come out of there, Cory? No? You're not gonna come out of there? You're still gonna be wrecking my shop? Eh, yeah, whatever. <sighs> I'll just deal with him when I deal with him, I guess. All right. Dr. Gear. Hello. Uh, ooh, okay, some glue cannon gear. What's over here? Hello? I was afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. 
Access to the gut is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish. It's all right. Give me a minute. Scan. Started. Well, I don't really need that. Back in the 60s and them. 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. Live exactly. You're sure about this? Not too late to flush it all out in airlock, you know. I'm sure. Are you having second thoughts? No way. I'm in. It's just... I'm not the one incriminating myself. There's no happy ending for me either way. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. Did you make arrangements? Mitchell's on board. He's gonna bring me food. I don't need to know the details. Better that way. It has to happen on your next rotation. I put everything in a package labeled Mementos. The package is in my cabin. It's got to go to every media outlet imaginable. Oh, got it. And Quinton? Be careful. Security is already scrutinizing me more than usual. Well, now. Uh, deploy knowledge? Oh, okay. I feel like I should have done that beforehand, but whatever. Hi, buddy! How you doing? Examination theater compromised. Yeah? I could do that too, you know. Oh, I could do that too. Let me show you. Warning. Exam uh, where is it? Where is it? Hey, why don't you meet my backup, huh? Oh, he's a fire guy. <laughs> does that hurt, huh? Come on, man. Come on, Ruby. 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 You can do it. You can do it. Oh, my God. Okay. Sure. People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. You know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. For all their wonderful abilities, there's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. Uh-huh. We got some mimics down here. Aha! <laughs> Hello! Operator approach. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't hide from me. Ah! Come on! Yeah, that's right! Y'all mimics ain't got nothing on me. Load. Okay. Who's in here? Can I see like a medical operator or something? Okay. Where? What? Oh, engineering operator. Okay, okay. I can easy actually. Inspector, your suit's leaking. Thank you. Aren't you just a doll? Ah. Hmm. 
<laughs> uh, Y'all can't hide from me now. I got all the secrets. Got all the techniques. I'll take it out. Uh, let me do that. This one's pretty easy. Uh oh. My mind saw it as B, not A. That one was B. There we go. Now you won't hurt me. Let's fix you up, and let's... No. Let's... Fortify. No problem, buddy. We gotta take care of each other, right? Why did that just move on its own, huh? Okay, can we... Can, can we stop with that? Thank you. I hear a phantom stomping around somewhere. Alright, let's, uh... See if we can't... Get in here. No. No! Okay, can we stop with that, please? Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> I am genius. Okay. Eventually, Alg is going to shut me down because uh, I'm becoming too powerful with my, t with my fabrication of the of the neuromods. He'll shut me down eventually. So, oh, Bellamy. This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating, but Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you. began implementing secret contingencies, hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. Yeah, my brother's a bit of a psychopath, but uh, I'll get him under control. Don't worry. Okie cookie. So... Oh! I... I'm glad I searched that. Could have missed some very important lootations. Oh, there it goes. Up the shaft. So that's it, basically, right? Yeah, that's it. Um... I think I want to do... I have six neuromods. Six neuromods, which means a lot of them for potential. Um. G. 
Jeez, there's a lot, there's like, there's not a lot of good options. Fifty. Hmm. I guess I'll do this one because uh, I don't really know what else to do. Plus, we're you know. Operator All right. So the lockdown's lifted, which means we can. Pretty much do whatever we please now. Um, let's see. <laughs> Aha! Hello! I see y'all are going over there. I won't disturb you. I think I said it before, but the music in this game is fantastic. It creates the best atmosphere in the game. And it just, like... It's so iconic. I feel like. Um, uh, where's... What's his name? Oh, there he is. get into material storage. Hmm. I'll have to figure that out. Well, I gotta follow those guys into the guts because uh, it's necessary. Oh. Oh, I see what happened now. Ah! Against an outbreak. Flimsy, I didn't know they weren't mine. But they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built-in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you. Since you're not an alien. <laughs> yeah, you say that. <laughs> Deploying. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Yeah! Alright. Structural upgrades detected. Thank you. Okay, now you work for me, so don't attack me. Inconclusive. Logging calibration request. Another one, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. Another close call. No problem, buddy. You know what? I think I have to dismantle these. Much as I don't want to, I need to have parts. We need the parts, and we have more than enough to recycle for other stuff, so. We don't really need to. Like, a lot of things we need to fabricate are neuromods and. Shotgun shells. So, also, I'll be right back. This loading screen takes forever. All right, and we're back. 
Now, this, what you're looking at now is the guts. This is what I gotta travel upwards to, to get to. This is where I gotta go to get to the atrium, so that's what we're gonna do. Come on! Requesting new operator. Transdar Cobalt 410. Clear of out. Thank you. I'll take that. Recycle charge. That. Okay. Now. Okay. Uh, one email. I guess I can read it. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's transfer all the crap. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Excuse me. Just a wee bit sleepy. Transfer that, why not? Uh, yeah. Nice, okay, we got plenty of materials. As soon as we get to a fabricator. We will be good. Now, okay. I'm gonna put this where the shotgun is because uh, there's a lot of uh, microgravity detected. Oh man. Anyways, there's. Oh god, what was that? conduit carrying the bare necessities. Power, water, air. But operators also use it to deliver supplies from the cargo bay up to the Arboretum. Given the small number of crew assigned here, I would expect Typhon presence to be minimal as well. But that's probably a bad assumption. It is a bad assumption because those freaking cysts are around here and they're annoying. Very annoying. As we will soon find out. So, just making sure nothing's here. Nothing of value. Oh, I'm getting very dizzy. If any of you watching have motion sickness, I would recommend skipping this part or just not watching it. Like, listen to my voice and the audio of the game, but don't look at the screen. Because, uh, yeah, it can get pretty bad. So, just a word of caution. a lot of weird noises and I don't want to be. Okie dokie. So we got all the necessary stuff. Alright, let's continue on. And also, if you go too fast, you can risk slamming into the into a hard surface with uh, enough force to squish you like a pancake. So, I'd recommend against that. I okay. Now, I think we have plenty of pistol ammo for these cysts that are going to come up, but uh, I could be wrong. 
probably I'm wrong. But uh, we'll just uh, we'll just go. We'll see how it is. Making sure I'm trying to keep an eye out for collectibles. I'm making sure I don't miss any. Which is hard because this place is ridiculously complicated. And traveling in zero G is not fun. As much as y'all might think it is. Alright, there's our first one. Oh, yeah. That's just a showcase. It's gonna get a whole lot worse. It's gonna get a whole lot worse. Alright, now let's look around. Make sure we have all of our wits about us. Just checking for stuff up here. Floating bodies, perhaps. Oh, what's that? See? See? I told you. Always check for collectibles. In this case, it's not really collectibles, it's more like lutations of the dead. But still, they're collectibles to me. Alright, we got some cystoid nests up ahead. Not too... Not too fond of those guys. Oh, jeez. Yeah, cysts are like... The cystoids in this game just like to cause chaos. Like, they don't have any other objective in life. Other than to be a nuisance. So, uh... That's their main purpose. It's just to be... A pain. And I'm getting radiation poisoning. Ugh! I very nearly showcased the very thing I was talking about, slamming into the hull. But luckily, I'm awesome, so it was narrowly avoided. In these cases, uh, nothing to be carried inside. What's inside here, I wonder? Got some materials. And I got up ahead, we got some more materials. Anything else? What's this? Nothing else of value, okay. Let us now exit from where we once came and face the horde. Sorry about that. Okay. Not much in the way of supplies, but uh... There you go. Actually, having my light off helps me see collectibles better.
And there we go. See that? See how effective that is? Now that is the way you control cysts. Or cystoids, sorry. I keep mislabeling them because I'm just calling them cysts to save time. Stop that fire. Stop that fire. Alright. Now there's no bodies, right? No floating dead. We already checked. Yeah, we did check. I forgot. What is that buzzing sound? I really do apologize to anybody who's watching this that has motion sickness. I, I do admit it is a bit jarring. So, like I said, just try to watch it without looking at the screen, or uh, skip this episode entirely because I wouldn't blame you. This this uh this experience has me getting a bit queasy, but it is necessary. To fix the elevator. This is the only time I ever have to go in these guts, so. Oh, sorry about that notification just now. I'm hearing a lot of weird noises and I don't like them. I'm guessing the entrance up there is up there somewhere. <laughs> I didn't think that was a thing, but apparently it is. Stop that fire. Alright, we're doing okay so far. We're not doing too bad, I mean... There's been a few, few close calls, but uh, nothing bad so far. Nothing bad. Ah, who's this? Oh, there's another nest. I found a code to a door. Okay. I apologize about that, folks. My friends are wondering when I'll be on, but I'll be on after this recording because you guys matter. I have to listen to the people. I have to please the people, as they say. Before I can uh, partake in leisure activities. Oops. There we go. Oh snap!
I know there's one of them left, but I can't see him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there he is. Got you. Let's continue on. All right, we're doing well, we're doing well so far. Sorry about the, I'm sorry about the constant messages, folks. Just uh, try to ignore them. Try to ignore them for right now because um, we gotta we gotta get through this episode. Make sure nothing's up here. Oh yeah, we gotta go through down here first to get the uh, collectibles that I saw. Ah! Oops. <laughs> well, as you can see, that's what that's what I was talking about. Oh boy. Well, it, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're relatively unharmed. Only a slight bit concussed. I can't believe I did that. Oh, we're upside down. Oh god, okay, I'm really sorry about this. Oh no, we're not upside down. Uh, three, four, nine, three, four, three, nine, four. Oh boy. I seize ya. Jeez, there's a whole bunch of them. Okay, we're not doing too bad. All right. Alright, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Admittedly, I thought I, that wasn't as bad. I thought it was going to be way worse because there was a lot of them, but we're fine. Uh, let's just rotate a bunch. Now, we are looking for a key card because I remember... I think the door head requires a key card that I do not have. Um, so, if I can't find a key card, I hope there's an alternate exit. Otherwise, I'll have to pause the episode and uh, search around till I find it. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll get to that. We'll cross that bridge and we'll get to it. Is there no storage in here? No, of course not. Aha, it's over here. 
I'm Neromod. Hello. Let's use that real quick. On this. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's take this. Alright. I'm not sure which way is up anymore. Oh, I know which way is up. That way is up. I don't want to get too close to that cystoid mess just yet. Is that a nest? No, that's a light. Okay. Yeah, come on. I got the door. Or I got the tunnel. Um, but I still don't know where that darn key card could be. Okay, we're gonna fix this because uh, it's gonna be annoying to listen to. Fixed. There we go. Alright. Oh, uh, boy. Where's the entrance things? Just moving through. Yeah, I have no idea where that key card could be, so it's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna go. We fixed the uh, electrical problem, so. Although, oh god, what the heck? What the heck did that? Where did they come from? Holy freaking cow! Okay. Now I gotta repair that again. Jeez. Why? Where did they come from? I could have sworn I got every every one of those cystoid nests taken care of. Apparently I was wrong. Whatever, we're fine, we're fine. I wanted to see if there's any collectibles in here real quick before I move on. I don't think there is, so... We're just gonna continue. Alright. I want to hopefully end this episode with getting through the guts and to the other side, the Arboretum. But we'll see. We can only do so much. Because after a while, my remote play starts freaking out, and I gotta end the episode before it malfunctions. But I will certainly try to get through this as quickly as I can. Oh god! Okay. 
Morgan, steady. That pulse hit your suit systems pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Telos-1 that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. For your sake. I'll be fine. Oh, well, lovely. I'm glad that you'll be fine. Thanks for that little tidbit of information. Okay, who's this? Ramon Ridley. Aha, that's the magnetosphere. You know what? I'm going to save that for next episode. Uh, we'll come back. Because that's a whole ordeal. Right now, I just want to get to the... Arboretum... Oh, they were planning to have a party. A little party. Well, they're dead, so. No party for you! Looks like some water. Cookies! I'll take those. Yum yum! Who eats cookies and drinks tea at the same time? That's. That's a horrible combination. Cookies and milk, man. What the heck is wrong with you? I think... Okay, now I believe this one is the one that requires a key card. Like, there's no other way to open this door. So we will see. Yeah. Yeah, I need a key card. So I need what's his face is oh god, okay. Never mind. I guess we're going to the Arb the magnetosphere after all. It, you know it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We'll just uh We'll go and do it. We'll go and do the magnetosphere. Got these spare parts. Doki. Okay, I need to uh, find somebody in here apparently that has the key card to the door I need. Alright. Y'all can look at the screen now for a little bit because I won't be uh, in zero G for a good, a good minute. So, take a breath. Going in here as a can. Or bandages, no, bandages. Nice. Good. Awesome. Now I need one of my I need one of the uh, lovely medical operators to uh, heal me. Requesting new operator. So. And she can't escape either unless she goes there. Hi. I've had more than a rough day. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. I will be sure to do that, buddy. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh my God. That's that's a, that'll be good enough for now. Uh, and let's turn back into those bandages where they go. And let's get out of here. Very nice. Whoa, okay. That freaked me out a little bit, not gonna lie. 
I'm assuming he's the man we gotta see. Sorry, I had to scratch my eye. Oh, and also, um, I know this is very late towards the end of the video, but um, I'm gonna continue this playthrough and future playthroughs with no camera Blaine. because. Uh, hey, what's the matter? He's he's dead. Whoa, what? Who's dead? Anders. I tried to call security. I tried. Do you need a medical team? I said he's dead, Langley. Right, Laurel. Morning. Take a deep breath. Black Tell me what happened. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anders went into the mag chamber to test one of the coils that's been flaking on us. I don't know what happened exactly, but there was a pulse. I think it cooked him in his suit. God, I'm so sorry, Laurel. Can you get up to the Arboretum? No, Anders had the key card. Okay, got it. Listen, just sit tight. Don't go into that chamber. I'm going to find Chief Elazar. We'll get a security team your way ASAP. For some reason, this pot, this thing of fire is glitched. It refuses to go out. But it's fine. Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. Alright, uh, we'll get that pistol. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three. Alright, we're good here. Two, we're good here. One. over time, but hopefully the remote play doesn't start freaking out. Warning. Magnetosphere deactivated. Solar radiation exposure at maximum. Magnetosphere activated. Ah, uh, whatever. Concentrate. I'm very concentrated right now. Thank you very much. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, oh God. one. How many more cystoids are there? That's how many. Okay, doke. Okay. Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. Warning. 
Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, on. three, two, one. Come on, get up there. We're up here now. Time to move quickly. Right. No time for dealing or dallying. We need to get in here, get his key card, and get the crap out. Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma oh god. 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 Four. Three. Get out. Get out. Get out. Okay. One. <laughs> I still lost health. What the crap? Microgravity detected. Jeez Louise. I'd like to get over here. Alright, that's all I can get from there. Warning, right. plasma shockwave imminent. Oh boy. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, gotta love enemy specific attacks, huh? Alright. I think we got the key card to the uh, guts, so let's try it out. Microgravity detected. Technopath? Oh, he's out there. Hi, buddy! How you doing? Yeah, you see me. All right. Please tell me we have the key card. Yep, we do. All right. What's happening? Don't let them do this to you. Jeez. Okay. Nice little flashback. My memories as a happy young boy. No, no, no. All right, so the arboretum is that way. The entire Typhon ecology appears to be centered around the creation of this substance. The original researchers called it coral. Beautiful, but we're not sure what its purpose is. It's never spread outside the containment zone. Until now. Alright, where's the Arboretum at? Alright, it's up ahead. Oh no. Uh, equip. Equip. No, equip. Yep, equip. Ow! Come on. Ah, dang it. Jeez Louise. Hmm. 
Yeah, Typh Typh the Weavers are the worst because they create those stupid cystoids as their main defense. I'm surprised they don't have uh, radiation poisoning. Team player. Sorry, hang on. You don't understand that. Oh, and by the way, I had to fix a bunch of your calculations, so it's not you. Seriously? You're recording this? <laughs> what is, is this a big sting operation, Josh? You gonna hand me over to the DA? <laughs> you like that, huh? Yes, <laughs> so pathetic. I'm done here. Josh, what are you doing? Let's just see how good my calculations are. I swear to God, if you don't put that down, I will rip it out of your sweaty hands and... Josh! Wow. <sighs> Nothing like a... Uh, perfectly coexistent team that gets along with each other to uh, prevent the total collapse of society by Typhon, huh? This is Chief Engineer Illusion. The power plant has been compromised. I repeat, the power plant has been compromised. It's about time, Sam. Chief, I'm not a comm tech. I'm doing the best I can. Micah, this is Security Chief Elazar. Can you hear me? Sarah? Yes, I can hear you. Been trying to patch into the PA. My team's in the cargo bay, and those things are in here too. They're crawling all over the station. Check everything around you. Hit it with a wrench. Check the wrench first. Sam, he's right. These things, smash every freestanding thing and see if it comes back at you. Get to a secure area, and when you're safe, call me via transcribe. I'm sending you a secure contact, all right? Understood. I left my transcribe in the coolant monitoring station. <laughs> Heading there now. I can lock myself in. Are you okay? I'm just catching my breath. Sarah, can you tell me what happened? Micah, get safe, then call. All right. Normal gravity detected. Okie dokie. All right, we made it to the operator. Nice. Uh, that's... There's a big fight here, quite apparently. Set the charge. Duck beer. Could never go never go wrong with duck beer, eh? Alright, um. I think this is all we have to do in this room. All right, I'm gonna save it here because uh, the arboretum is its own beast. So we will uh, hopefully uh, record tomorrow and um, yeah, I'll see y'all then. Peace. <laughs>